It's 4.30 a.m. We're in Canada and we're about to leave for the final leg of the World Series. It's far too early. It's very early. Like, don't really know what I'm doing right now, but I'm about to get on a plane and head to Mexico for the last leg of the World Series and hopefully it'll be a good one to finish on. Very well timed phone. <laughs> We just arrived in Mexico, Merida to be precise, and as you can see, my hotel room is behind me. Just, you know, standard bed and a bathroom. It's pretty nice. Looking forward to going to the pool tomorrow. Uh, apparently it's indoor-outdoor. I don't quite know what that means, but I'll find out tomorrow after a long journey. All I want to do right now is eat and go to sleep and have some rest. in between training sessions and you, as you can see behind me we have a nice little pool here so I'm just going to be sat in the shade in my hammock look at that nice lovely little hammock so that's where I'm going to be for an hour or so this afternoon um, but as you can see from earlier the pool is kind of indoor outdoor it's got a roof over the top of it but it doesn't really have any sides so it makes it a little bit interesting for when we're spinning around and trying to figure out where we are in the air but a little bit of training, you know, we'll get used to it and looking forward to the competitions on the weekend. Tonya, how does it feel to be in Mexico? Fabulous. Mexico. Oh gosh. Today, all of the teams are going on a little excursion. Don't quite know the name of it yet, but I'm sure we're going to find out. But we're going to these pyramids built by the Mayans like thousands of years ago, so it should be interesting. Chris is scoffing his face with his dinner. And we're at the Chichen Itza, I think it's called, something like that. Don't find out how you say it, but we're about to go and see it now. Then we'll As you can see behind me, it's all lit up and it always keeps changing colour. At the moment it's blue. Anyway, we've got to rush around because we're about to actually see a light and music show or something that's going to be projected onto the pyramid itself. So, we'll go and see that right now. So it's really weird diving here in Mexico because, because the pool's indoor-outdoor, at around about 4 o'clock every day, it gets mega windy and it's kind of to the point where you kind of fall off the board and you kind of have to really struggle to stay upright when you're still on the end, which is slightly weird and it makes it quite difficult to concentrate, but fingers crossed it won't be like that on competition day and it'll all be still, but you know, we've practiced in the wind so we're ready for it, but Scared, like the weather forecast for Sunday for my individual event says thunderstorms so I don't quite know what's going to happen with that but you know makes diving interesting so we'll see what happens so today was the first day of competitions here in Merida I didn't compete it was the synchro events on three meter and platform um, but I did the opening ceremony which is quite interesting we had synchronized swimmers there was a little band playing there was lots of speeches um, but I'm really looking forward to tomorrow actually because it's going to be the second competition I'm going to compete in with Alicia for the mixed synchro so hopefully we'll be able to do a good solid performance and see how it ends up but tomorrow is going to be a bit of fun and I'm looking forward to it as long as it doesn't get too windy in the evening.
last night Alicia and I won a bronze medal in the mixed sinker it's the highest score that we've got so far and we managed to get some really good scores in there we did the best front three and a half we've ever done and reverse enough Pike was a little bit dodgy but back to now Pike was one of the best he's ever done as well and then we had today the individual 10 meter platforms so I've got my semi-finals now where we're going to the pool and then the finals hopefully if I make it later tonight So the World Series circuit for 2015 is now officially over and I've finished with a bronze medal in the individual event. I've actually got it in my bag here, let me get it for you to show you. There it is. Big old bronze medal. It was an interesting event, it was really tough because everyone was diving really well. The Chinese um, guy ran away with the gold, but only just, it was really close between me, the Mexican Ivan Garcia. Um, and Yan Jian from China. So it was a close call, but I dived pretty well. I got 547 in the prelim and 545 in the final, so some of my highest scoring dives of the season. So it was very windy in the final, but you kind of have to put up with any conditions. So pretty pleased overall, but I'm looking forward to the World Championships now. That's my next competition where I'm going to be going to try and qualify my spot for the Olympic Games. So until then, that's all the diving events that I'm going to be doing this year. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next year. Do a dance, Tonya. <laughs> On our way to Canada.